Miss crunching a Jack Morris offering two run big fly tie ball game at four. Then watch here the ground ball the second off the bat of Jim Tomey. Similar Robbie Alomar great diving stop and peg to get the out. But the official Albert Bell target sitting out there and Bell goes for it in a big way. Crushes a solo shot off Juan Guzman to put Cleveland up by a score of six to five. Next batter up, Eddie Murray. Next batter to Rockland. Out of the yard to right, seven to five Cleveland there. Seven to five in the final analysis. Bell and Murray each connecting uh, in uh, as uh, the streak continues. It's the longest streak for Cleveland since 1954. Right center, Chris Sabo. Hey, turns it into an awesome adventure. Holds on. Well, he wants to play right. He just wants to play. 3-2-0. Sabo at first. Palmero drives it off the wall. Look at Polonia relay to Mike Gallego. And Sabo is out by 10 feet at the dish. Now watch Pat Kelly. The one hopper. Gun down spuds there. 3 2 0s. Daryl Boston leads off the ninth with a pinch single. Luis Polonia's high chopper fielded by Lee Smith. All wrong there. Here comes Boston all the way around to tie the game. Then Wade Boggs punches one the other way, goes with a pitch, drops it into left field, and here comes Polonia to win the game. Wade Boggs is singled in the ninth inning against Lee Smith, capped the two run rally as uh, uh, Lee Smith blows his third save chance in 27 opportunities. The fifth inning, Kirby Puckett. Runner at second, rounds to Scott Cooper. He'll check the runner at second. And then off the glove here, off Big Mo Vaughn's glove, run scores. Twins eventually go ahead 5-4. Bottom seven. Carlos Rodriguez with a smash back to Mark Guthrie, and he makes the snag. What reaction here? Top of the ninth, Twins clinging to a 5-4 lead. And then Herbeck, Kent Herbeck runs down the pop fall. Dave Stevens, three and two-thirds of scoreless relief to win it. Uh, Rick Aguilera, his 14th save. The Twins win their sixth straight. The reeling Red Sox have lost six in a row, dropped eight straight at Fenway. Phillies Dwight Gooden rocked his last time out. Looked invincible tonight. Here striking out the side in the second inning as the Mets carry a 1-0 lead to the seventh when John Crock spoils it with one swing. And now... It's tied, and it stayed tied. A little later in the inning, an infield single, and Gooden's throwing error put a man on second, and Tim Batiste swatted one to center cleanly, and here comes Milt Thompson, the recipient of that deadly throwing error by Dwight Gooden. Gooden struck out 10 for the first time in more than two years, but he's 0-2 since coming off uh, more than two months on the DL as the Phillies beat New York.